back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to learn about all pairs shortest path problem part 2 using dynamic programming. Okay, so in the previous video, we saw some of the problem. Uh, we understood how to solve the problem. We got our initial matrix. We got our matrix through vertex 1. We got our matrix through vertex 2. So let us complete the rest of the problem now. Okay, um, so guys, we have our m2 here m2 means through vertex 2 right now let us do m3 m3 is to what vertex 3 m3 is to is through the vertex 3 that means third row third column and the diagonal will be same as it is from the previous matrix so what is the previous matrix m2 so let us copy third row third column and the diagonal same as it is from this matrix and see what we get now uh, we copied the matrix as it is like with third row third column diagonal same values and now let's find out the missing values so how do you find out the missing values first missing value is what one two so one two how you should go to one two through three you have to go right so that means you from one you have to first go to three and then from three to two so plus three comma two so how much is one two from this previous matrix now forget about m1 you have to remember i mean keep only m2 in the consideration now okay so 1 2 2 how much 3 and 1 2 3 is 5 plus whatever 3 to 8 obviously 3 is only lesser right you don't have any negative values that means obviously 3 is only lesser so let's take 3 directly okay now 1 comma 4 so 1 comma 4 how can you write it as 1 comma 3 plus 3 comma 4 1 comma 1 2 4 is how much 7 and 1 2 3 is 5 plus 3 to 4 is 6 so ob sorry 1 that means total is how much 6 so obviously 6 is only lesser value you will write 6 here okay next uh, let's do from i'll do here uh, from 2 to 1 right so 2 comma 1 how can you write it as 2 comma 3 plus 3 comma 1 2 comma 1 how much 8 and 2 comma 3 how much 2 plus 3 to 1 is 5 so this is 7 so among these two which is minimum this is only minimum so you write sorry you write 7 here next to 2 4 right so 2 comma 4 how can you write it as 2 comma 3 plus 3 comma 4 okay yeah this is better so 2 to 4 how much 15 from the previous matrix from this matrix and 2 to 3 is how much 2 plus 3 to 4 is how much 1 total is so obviously 3 is only less so you will write 3 here next what you have to calculate 4 comma 1 how can you write 4 comma 1 as 4 3 plus 3 1 so 4 1 is how much 2 4 3 is how much 7 obviously 2 will only be the lesser value no need to calculate at all so you can write 2 here next what is the remaining 4 2 how can you write 4 2 as 4 3 plus 3 2 so 4 2 is how much 5 4 3 is 7 so obviously 5 will be only the lesser value whatever is 3 2's value so 5 okay you got the m3 matrix also now now the last step is to find out the m4 matrix m4 matrix is nothing but what through vertex 4 for that matrix what you have to do fourth row fourth column and the diagonal same from this m3 matrix and the remaining values you have to find out right so let's copy that and uh, what i did is i copied this m3 matrix like fourth row fourth column and diagonal same and now let's find out the other remaining missing values okay first what is what you have to do one two so for one two wait a second wait a second so one two you can write it as through vertex 4 right you have to touch vertex 4 for everything so 1 comma 4 plus 4 comma 2 so 1 2 is how much 3 1 4 is how much from this matrix okay now forget about all the other previous matrix remember only this m3 matrix 1 4 is how much 6 so obviously 3 only will be lesser so 3 next 1 3 how can you write 1 3 as 1 4 plus 4 3 so what is 1 3 what is 1 4 6 what 1 1 3 is 5 and 1 4 is 6 obviously 5 only will be the lesser value so write 5 directly next 
2 1 so how can you write 2 1 as 2 4 plus 4 1 so 2 1 is uh, 7 2 4 is 3 plus 4 1 is 2 how much 5 so 5 is minimum value so you will write 5 here okay next uh, 2 3 right so 2 3 how can you write it as 2 4 plus 4 3 so 2 3 is 2 2 4 is 3 so obviously 2 only will be the lesser value so you can directly write 2 over here now what else is what else are remaining 3 1 3 1 can be written as 3 4 plus 4 1 3 1 is 5 3 4 is 1 plus 4 1 is 2 that means 3 3 is only lesser value so you can write 3 here okay and the last is 3 2 so 3 2 can be written as 3 4 plus 4 2 3 2 is how much 8 3 4 is 1 4 2 is 5 so how much is this 6 yeah so among 8 and 6 which is lesser 6 so you write 6 okay this is your final matrix okay this is your final matrix m4 through all the vertices original done m1 done m2 done m3 done so finally we got m4 so by covering all the vertices we finally came here okay now we did it generally like all these values we calculated it generally by looking at the previous matrix but there is a formula for this okay i will tell you what is that formula this is the general formula see it is simple like if you observe this a is nothing but m k is nothing but suppose m4 of i comma j is nothing but what 2 comma 3 for example okay is equal to minimum of so from these two you are taking the minimum value right minimum of a comma k minus 1 means what k is 4 here the before matrix we are comparing m3 only right to get the values for m4 m3 of i comma j m3 of 2 comma 3 and k minus 1 means again m3 of i comma k means what you are going through vertex 4 right so 1 comma 4 sorry 2 comma 4 plus m3 of k minus 1 again what is k value here 4 4 comma j value is what 3 so this is what we did here right so for 2 3 what we did 2 4 plus 4 3 so if this formula looks complicated for you but that is what we did okay if i would have told you this formula first itself and i uh, explained you the entire problem using this formula definitely you guys would have confused i mean but looking at this formula itself you guys feel frustrated we feel frustrated right who will remember this whole big formula so this is the generalized version of this now this is the final matrix what do you mean by this see this is our original graph right so from original graph we got original matrix okay so in the same way using this matrix if you construct a graph that is only the shortest path see uh, from 1 to 2 what is the uh, sorry from 2 to 1 what is the weight we have here 8 but here what we have from 2 to 1 we got 5 we got reduced right so we got reduced by 3 points and in the same way uh, from 1 to 4 how much we have in the final matrix we have 6 but whereas in the initial matrix it was 7 okay so that means if you if you again do a graph from this matrix you will get the sh graph with shortest path just compare these two things the original matrix and the final matrix you will see cost reductions here it was infinity there is no path at all but here we got 5 here it was 7 but we got 6 here it was 8 but it got reduced to 5 okay so fr from each and every pair to the other pair there is a path here there were infinities but we don't have even a single infinity here and that too shortest possible paths we find out we found out okay so that's all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic stay tuned to my channel till then thank you so much